One night, Sir Handel was chatting with the other engines about his visit to the Talifern Railway in Wales. He loved working there and meeting the other engines, but he was certainly glad to be home. You know, they're celebrating their 150th this year. Ah, just like us. Driver says we're going to have a big party soon, with important guests and tours of the line. Hard to believe it's been 150 years since I came here. Do you remember those box engines I used to work round here at Aeneas? I do. Remember, Neil? That little sword or a mainland railway engine? He was always a funny sort. Yes. I wonder whatever happened to him. Those engines all came and went over time. He must have been scrapped, like the many engines before the fat controller's ones. Hmm, perhaps. It always gets more likely to be scrapped as time goes on. Aye, now look, it's getting late. We'd best be off to bed. And the engines fell asleep, thinking about Neil. The following morning, Scar Lowy backed down on his coaches, ready for his first train of the day. Derek was waiting nearby for the points to be switched to the work sidings. Good morning, Scar Lowy. How are you on this fine day? Oh, good morning, Derek. Just thinking about an old friend. Really? His name was Neil. He used to work round here when the Sword on the Mainland Railway was formed, and I met him when I first came to the island to start work. I'm wondering whatever became of him. Hmm. Do you suppose you could ask the fat controller about it? If anyone should have reports of that engine, it's him. Of course. I'll do it as soon as I can. Later, as he was dieseling along, Derek had a problem. He forgotten the lost engine's name. Oh, what was it? Ringo, Sam, Andrew, Sean. Oh, who? Then he saw the fat controller on the platform. Oh, driver, stop! Excuse me, sir. Um, hello. Um, I was having a chat with Scarlo this morning, and he told me about an engine from the Sodor and Mainland Railway. A little green boxy engine. He was wondering if you knew what happened to him, sir. Hmm. Well, I remember there's reports of them in archives, and it seems quite likely that they've all been long since scrapped. But I do remember a story my father telling me my great-grandfather may have hidden some old railway relics on the south side of the island. If you like, I can arrange for you and shall work with discovered around the old lines. Oh, thank you, sir. Later, he stopped at Crovin's Gate Sheds. Evening, Derek. You look excited. Oh, I am, Reneus. The fat controller had told me that there might be some old engines on one of the old branch lines. Perhaps Neil is a Kirk Ronin. I'm so excited. That is interesting. But take it easy, Derek. If you're expecting a surprise, it may turn into disappointment. Uh, sorry, Renes, but I can't help it. The next day, the fat controller and some workmen travelled to the old line to near Kirk Ronan. They soon found an old engine shed. The door was peered open. Oh dear. No, nothing's there. It's all empty. When he told the news to the little engines, they were quite disappointed. I'm sorry for getting you excited, Scarlowy. It's all right, Derek. It wasn't your fault. It was the most logical outcome in the ways. 
On the day of the anniversary, Skylovy put on a brave face, as did Renaeus. The little engine showed important visitors and tourists alike around their little old railway. After their tour, the engines lined up at the sheds with speeches made by the thin controller. Ladies and gentlemen, 150 years ago, our little railway was open to the public. We were the second behind Tally Flynn to allow passenger service, and our first steam locomotive, who is now 151 years old, Scar Lowy, arrived on the island of Sodor to help with our railway. Care to say a few words, Scar Lowy? Indeed I do, sir. It's a great day to celebrate our railway's 150th year on this wonderful island. But I wish that on this day to celebrate it with friends who were around 150 years ago. The world changes every day, and nothing lasts forever. But I wish the people and engines 150 years ago could be here with us still. I can still remember a little box engine named Neil. He was the first engine I've met on Sodor, and to this day, I could still call him my first new friend. Could you repeat that name, Scarlowy? Um, Neil, sir. Neil. Is that who you were looking for, Jeddick? Yes, of course, that was his name. That search was all about Neil. <laughs> the engines were puzzled. Neil's still with us, Scarlowy. He's preserved at the railway museum in Vickers Town. My great-grandfather kept Neil away from torch until he was deemed unrepairable. By then the regime had been open and Neil was put on display to the public. The visitors and engines were in awe. So, he's alright? Oh, thank you, sir, thank you. And, um, if any of you have ever had the chance to see Neil at the museum, tell him that Scar, Lodi and Linnaeus wish him all the best. And we hope he's enjoying his retirement.